there. Magandang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Tagalog tayo ngayon dahil sa ating pagmamahal sa ating bansa. Kapapanalo lang natin ang Miss Universe. At dapat ipakitin natin ang ating 100% support. <laughs> Wala akong boses. But syempre, patagalis-tagalis tayo once in a while para maintindihan ng ilan natin mga kaibigan from other countries. Yung ating mga foreign subscribers. Ang ating ibabahagi sa araw na ito. Actually, this is the second part. I have already talked about some people questioning Catriona Grace ethnicity. You know, yung they are questioning why she is the one representing the Philippines. She's not Filipino. She's etc. 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 You know, and those words are coming from fellow Filipinos. But we don't have to answer back with bashing here and there. We should always listen to one another. There is freedom, and as long as what they say is done in a very objective manner, they don't curse you or whatever, then they have the right, as we do, you know, to voice out our sentiments on anything. Basta hindi na siya mga apak ng pagkatao mo o pagkatao ko. Okay lang. Now, Miss Universe is over, but still, the fever is still raging. Hindi pa rin kumakalma ang marami sa atin. <laughs> and, uh, some of those are some sort of trivia na nakakasurpresa talaga. Number one, pare-pareho raw letter G ang mga nanalo. Gutierrez, Venezuela, Green, South Africa, and Gray of the Philippines. And for the sake of our foreign friends all over the world, <laughs> as some people, some people, people, <laughs> some people notice that uh, the three winners have their surnames starting with letter G. Boca. Number two, it is the Philippines as the country who always blocks another country to win a back-to-back -back title. <laughs> Very interesting, right? So if you have more interesting observation or facts, please share it with all of us. Just comment down below. Now, the highlight of this post, of this vlog, is this allegation that unfair or bias ang yung dalawang ano commentators laban sa Pilipinas at dahil naniniwala ako sa karapatan nating bawat karapatan ng bawat isa sa atin ang you know to shout out to the whole world our preferences beauty particularly subjective di ba so merong kalayaan ng bawat isa ay pahayag ng kanyang gusto but it doesn't mean na hindi ko halata rin yung kanilang <laughs> Pagkaayaw sa Pilipinas. Hindi ko ito pinaniniwala ng 100% because I don't know them. And hindi ko napapasa yung puso nila. And because nga naniniwala ko that, you know, we should, we should be fair. We should listen to each other's opinions. Everyone's opinion matters in this world. So hindi ko sila pwede akusahan. Pero yung pakiramdam ko, di ba? Kagaya rin ninyo. Na tipong, last year pa, ito, dalawang ito. <laughs> Lagi na lang parang hindi nakikita yung Pilipinas, yung, yung representative ng Philippines. Na parang, hoy, 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 pakibanggit naman nakaligtan mo, maganda rin naman siya magdala ng gown, no? <laughs> It's something like that. Hindi pong naiinis ka talaga. And this year, very evident talaga yung hindi nila pagkakusa sa Pilipinas. Hindi ko sinasabing mali. Again, may karapatan na bawat isa. Pero, yun. Matapag nila ang pinakita, ang kanilang top 3 choices, at hindi nila talaga gusto. Para sa top 3, si Catriona. Pilit kong inuunawa ito. <laughs> Pero parang hindi ko masakyan. Kasi lutang naman talaga. Hindi ko sinasabing hindi deserving yung dalawa na manalo. Of course. Pero, you know, the performance of Catriona. And, you know, just the image that she projects. She was the winner. And, igalang na lang natin. Yung kanilang preferences. So, what's the name of that guy? I forgot. I knew that guy from way, way back because nananunod ako ng, I forgot the title, but it's a sort of straight guy from a queer's eye. Something like that. What's the name? Wait. Yeah, Carson Kressley and Lucera. And, you know, there's so much hate, there's so much anger, you know, on social media. I'm sure that it has reached their radar and maybe they are now reflecting on what they have done. Most probably, but you know, Lucia is a little bit outspoken, and uh, maybe some people would call her a 
you know, bitch a bitch, eh? but uh, uh, maybe she was just being honest about what she feels. Maybe she really likes the other candidates in the Philippines. A host must really be impartial. They must not give side comments, but they are, you know, backstage commentators. Is that the right term for them? And I think that's really required of them to do. You know, giving their smart opinions, however unbiased they are. Smart and unbiased? <laughs> but I watched Lu Shirai. She was a guest at one show in the Philippines and she even said that, come on Philippines, come on, invite me back once again, invite me back. It's my first time in the Philippines, but please have us come back. Please, please, please have Thank us you. come back. Thank you. Definitely, we will. We'd love to have you again. Thank you very much, Lou. Thank, Thank you. you. Like that. When she was in the Philippines during the Miss Universe 2016, that was held in 2017, January, in the Philippines. So you wouldn't see any hint that she would dislike the Philippines or any Philippine representative of that. Because last year, she was also a little bit cruel to Rachel Peters. Here, this year, during the gun competition of the top 10, I think, or top five, she talked, in fact, nicely about the Philippines. And she's got this sultry, sultry peg, sort of that. So I think it was not really 100% that she didn't like the Philippines. Or maybe she was just trying to be impartial. Maybe, just maybe. But it was very open. It was out that they didn't choose the Philippines in their top three list and it is their right to do so. Just like each and every one of us. Meron tayong kanya-kanyang choices. Who do you guys think had the hardest question? I think South Africa had a really difficult question. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and I think Venezuela too. You know, the question about the whole pageant idea is very topical in this setting. Yeah, but she did a good job. Okay, so now it's time to play the Miss Universe game. Okay, so we all wrote down our top three picks on a card during the commercial. And now let's each all of us reveal our final three. Lou, you go first. Okay, there we go. Puerto okay, Rico, Puerto Rico, South, South Africa, Africa, Africa and Venezuela. Venezuela. Carson? Can I say first of all that I was shocked that Thailand did not make this top I five? Know. I'm very shocked about that. Here are my top five. Oh, wait, that's the wrong, wrong card. Here are my top five. <laughs> Vietnam, South Africa, Puerto Rico. Vietnam, South Africa, Philippines, Venezuela. Okay, so we're going to see who made the cut. Back Costa Rica. Costa Rica giving this beautiful blue embellished gown with that uh, ostrich feather come on. I'm not a huge fan of this dress. I don't love all of the leg that's showing. And um, it's, it's not one of my favorites. Also, that sleeve detail is a little distracting to me. Curacao! But it can never be denied that you would feel their dislike about the Philippines, in a way. Because you didn't hear a thing when they're already on camera. Not even once. I said they're really ignoring Miss Philippines. But still, tayralin natin yung ating pagbibigay ng pagpapahalaga sa bawat opinion. Yun ang importante. So, hindi maganda yung parating ng dalawang ito at bruhil naman kung tawagin ng ilan. <laughs> still, tinanong sila kung sinong gusto nila. Kung ano masasabi nila sa mga kandidata. Hindi nila naisip ang Philippines because they didn't see her worth mentioning, maybe. <laughs> or maybe, it's as simple as they didn't like Catriona's answer during the during the top five Q&A. That's why hindi let us sinama sa kanilang top three choices. Pwede rin. And who knows, maybe Lucy Ra, way back in the Philippines, you know, during the Miss Universe 2016, she had uh, a negative exp you know, negative experience with some people. Maaaring natalakan siya ng isang organizer or what? Maybe. We don't know really. I don't know really why, you know, you could feel this detachment towards our representative. You know, just a feeling. Maybe true, maybe not true. So, most probably she has had an experience with some Pinoys. Or maybe she was heavily bashed last year as well. And those were instilled in her mind and is now taking a revenge. Why not? <laughs> maybe. I was aware of that 
snub for the Philippines last year, but you know, it was not really that huge. I mean, it was not blown out of proportion, unlike this year, that you really could see some memes about their displeasure about the Philippine representative, <laughs> about Carolina Gray, to be specific. So maybe she has had received some criticisms already back then. Last year, that's why. Well, siguro wala talaga sila nakitang kabonggahan kay Catriona, which is parang medyo impossible naman. <laughs> that's why nagtatatala yung ilan, yung ilan nating kababayan because of that. Dahil kita-kita naman talaga yung galing, di ba? But, come on, we have won the competition. Catriona has won not only the crown, but the hearts of so many people. People from the whole universe. Yeah, because we could see a lot of comments, good comments, positive reviews about Carriot. Coming from foreign pageant fans. So, never mind this too. Other candidates, other preferences. So be it. Bahala <laughs> sila. It's always like that. You, you can't please everyone. The most important thing is that she is a new Miss Universe. And she deserves it. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat.